Hello YouTube, welcome to the 21st episode of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Inter Calvajero. We missed last week's episode simply because I did not have the time to record things as they happened, as I usually do. And uh, rather than trying to reconstruct all that, I think I would rather just start out by giving you guys an overview of uh, the team as it is right now. So our four main trainees, Minarelli, um, Tully and Jensen Odom, and finally Mercado, they all but Odom are now at Magnificent Winger. And as far as I remember, Tully and uh, Mercado was the ones to pop uh, this uh, last training update. But um, surely we are fairly on our way um, in that regard. Coincidentally, the week where I don't have time to record things as they happen is also the week where we actually end up losing to a bot team. Um, quite embarrassing, but uh, we are so far down on the, the team spirit at this point, so it is quite hard. Luckily, we are not in it for the results at this point, and also, quite luckily, we are fairly certain of finishing in that third place spot, which is what we expected. We promoted a, a youth player, Rivas Giardi, and uh, to be honest, a rather disappointing sale. Um, he was promoted with like 7.5 uh, scoring and, well, 800 TSI. I was expecting a little more than 9,000 euros in the transfer fee in this regard. Hopefully, we will be able to, um, to reap some uh, rewards economically later on from this guy, but uh, we'll have to wait and see, obviously. So, Sanati is uh, looking good in the youth department. He is fairly close to um, solid defending. And uh, remember, we rejected a solid keeper two weeks ago. Well, turns out this guy would pull instead Virgilio Camellini. He is, well, I'm so, uh, I'm over the moon by the fact that we pulled this guy instead because he reeled his uh, playmaking potential and it was uh, solid. So uh, probably in raw skills, in terms of raw skill, he's likely to be better than Sonati actually. Uh, no spec so far. And uh, yeah, I'm quite happy about finding this uh, next piece of the puzzle for our future midfield. This will be very interesting indeed. Um, this week's poll was uh, nothing worth mentioning and he's already been fired. Things are looking good even though we lost to a bot, I must say. The final thing to do in this episode is to have a look at the 13th round in the league. We played Rio Gondo and we won two goals to nothing against the bot team as we expected. Looking at the performances, Jensen Odom doing quite well as well as Tully on the wings and Hill. Danielson with four stars on the attack towards the wing spot as well, so it's uh, it's all right. That leaves us at a secured third place, and we'll know for sure that we will be taking home some prize money, which is uh, quite nice. Chupke threw the game against uh, San Milos, and that means that it'll be a fight for... Actually, we don't know what it means. Will they go for the victory against Gatineri in the final round and, and Mats um, and try to avoid the prom direct promotion? Mm, I genuinely can't tell. 39 points. I think they might try to win the division and try to avoid the direct promotion here. But I, yeah, we, we'll see on Sunday. Actually, that, that might even be more exciting than our own game to see what happens in the in the final round between Chupka and Gatineri. I expect to have another video ready next week after the 14th round. And uh, all in all, uh, all I can say is I'm happy that you guys are uh, still watching. And uh, I hope you have a great week in Hattrick.